Welcome back to Artec. In today's video, we're going to review the Apexel digital microscope, which can measure things up to three microns. We're going to test it and find out how good this thing is. Welcome back. So here it is, a beautiful box here. It's uh, made from Apexel. So this is uh, the digital handheld microscope, a pretty new model here. A little different from the previous microscopes we have reviewed in the past. So this one's called Expand Your Vision and uh, they've got a few links there on the side. Let me quickly show you the specifications here. Uh, you can pause the video and have a closer look at it. So up to three microns is what they're saying you can actually have a look at and uh, it's got a resolution of 320 by 240 the screen CMOS sensor 720 pixels and uh, there you go it's just uh, up to three micron objects can be seen I'm supposed to have some coated lenses and stuff like that we'll see how good it is at a later stage so let's quickly open uh, this box and see what's inside okay uh, it looks like there's some sort of a covering and yes there's a microscope inside so let's see what's uh, okay let's uh, this is quite small and handy i've never seen a microscope like this but looks different for sure so this is the back part of the device got led lights there and this is the focus ring which is really different from the past screen protector there four buttons and says apex right in front of the buttons there and really good quality i like this uh, matte black finish so finally seeing some usb cables here and that's a type c cable for your information there's a carrying pouch as well so this makes it more convenient to move around and there's a user manual nice color manual here and they've given you some instructions as to how to use it and stuff and as usual i'm not going to read it but i'm just going to try using it out of the box so the other thing you notice here it's got a flexible head which means uh, if you want to kind of turn this device towards your viewing angle and adjust it, you can do that with this one. Pretty neat feature. I like this. And there's a nice rubber flap which covers some of the internals. So micro SD card slot there and the beautiful USB-C port. Powering this on, this is a power button, one click. So you need to insert an SD card. No SD card provided in the box. So you need to add one, but it will still work. You may not be able to click any pictures though. It's got these LED lights at the back. So let me show it to you again. Yeah, that screen is very beautiful. Not very high res, but uh, practical. And this starts working right out of the box. You can see it's actually zooming into the table and whatever's there below it. So the cool part is this thing actually sits on the table very comfortably. And when you actually press the plus button over here, it's got digital zoom and the minus button of course will uh, zoom out and zoom in. And this has got uh, up to 5x of digital zoom. Not sure you're going to use that because it's going to ruin the clarity on it. But it does have 5x digital zoom. Also long pressing the plus or minus button will increase or decrease the brightness of the LEDs which is present at the bottom of this microscope. So remember that as well. So let's quickly go through the menu of this little microscope and see how interactive it is. So there are two ways to go into the menu. So you just press the first button on the left here and it goes into the shooting mode. This is the menu for the photograph settings. So once you go into this, you can see there's a couple of settings here, shooting mode. So if you go into that, choose a timer if you want to uh, then you have continuous shooting which means it will click at least three photos continuously instead of one uh, you can take pictures in a loop and there's a sharpness setting it just has standard and strong it's already by default on strong and let's see what else do we have and then there's a color mode so it does have some three filters so one is uh, no special effects that's what's the default setting so no special effects is the default setting. Then there's the black and white and nostalgic look. I'm pretty much sure you're not going to use that. And then there's an EV compensation. So in case you think that the light's not good enough, you can do that as well. And then there's a quick preview button. If you don't want to see the preview, you can disable that. 
it's right now disabled and there's a date label that's all you have here uh, if I go to the second menu this is a general menu for the whole device so you can see screen protection so it, it kind of prevents uh, the screen from burning out so automatically shuts it down there's an automatic shutdown as well so that will turn off the whole device uh, based on the time you set so by default five minutes line assist lets you align the device so center cross and no options available after that and then you have language settings i wouldn't go into that date and time and you can format the sd card and then you can set defaults and there's, there's a version which kind of tells you what's the firmware on it and that's about it so there's another menu here so i'll tell you how to do that so once you go out of this and you go to video mode so right now it's in video mode you can see it's 1080p so let's jump into this menu so again your things are slightly different you have resolution so once you go into that sorry uh, uh, 1080p or 720p you can choose and then there's loop video option just like your uh, you know pictures you want to keep taking pictures even after the card gets full you can do that uh, ev compensation date labels that's about it on the other hand the other menu remains the same that's a generic menu so this is common with both of them it's just that you get some more options in the video menu that's about it okay now comes the fun part where we do some testing with this little microscope We'll put some daily objects which are really uh, easily available and we'll just look at how they look under this microscope. Okay, I'm going to use this white paper as a background so that it's easier to spot things. I'm also going to put the screenshot of the actual uh, you know, images from this little microscope. So we'll test this old paper knife and uh, straight away you can see it's much easier to use than some of the older microscopes we've seen in the past and here are the image quality uh, which i wasn't really impressed with but let's have a look again yeah you can see that the images are really sharp but there's a lot of distortion in the image and here's how a tissue paper would look and that's the image i'm putting something smaller now it's a flax seed and this one's really tiny, so let's see how well this zooms in. Okay, there you go. Let me know what you guys think about the microscope and whether it's going to be useful. So pressing the power button once will click the image. You can also record a video by toggling between the menu button and uh, the button on the extreme left. So I felt that the flaxseed was pretty okay. And this is a small piece of foam. And just have a look at how this kind of shows you what exactly you're going to see at that magnification. So I'm going to put on the video mode right now. And yes, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel. So in this case, I'm going to press the record button. So here's a digital zoom, pretty much useless because it's just going to ruin the image. So I'm going to show you how the video looks and this is what you can actually see. This is recorded in 720p because I did not adjust the resolution settings and these are the images I clicked after that. Not very impressive but okay. And here's our real star of the day. It's a mosquito. Yes, it was uh, unharmed in the sense it kind of got electrocuted on one of those uh, insect bats but uh, here's how it looks. I was really impressed to see that there's a lot of clarity in terms of zooming this thing on the screen but the actual image when you see it on the PC was kind of okay but it makes for a good toy for kids and you know if you have something like uh, small insects like these it's very nice to use it on the go and you can actually see the anatomy of these insects very easily and the mosquito is a really scary looking insect honestly check that look from the side that is one scary insect and here's the image how clear this one is yep sometimes it does give you good images and this is running at maximum brightness that particular LED at the back of the section and here's another image
There you go. So yeah, insects could probably make a very good subject if you want to experiment and play around with this device. So keep that in mind. Here's a pencil tip. And that's the section of the lid. That graphite is visible quite well. But again, the image quality on the actual micro SD card wasn't very impressive. And this is the actual wood grain. And this is how it looks. So let's test the nib of a pen. And this one's a felt pen, so yeah, it's pretty impressive in terms of the magnification. That screen itself is good, but uh, it's like one of those old mobile phones where you get to see a good image on the phone screen, but when you see the actual image, it's not impressive. Here's a cotton bud. Uh, when you use, usually use a single color device, uh, like a piece of paper, it, it's not that impressive, but when you put something color, of color you can see that it pops out really well so this one's a highlighter and that comes out very well so things like um, human hair and the skin is also quite impressive to see on the microscope directly i wasn't really impressed with the image which it takes but uh, when you actually see it on the screen it's quite good so this is uh, a neat thing to do so probably, you know, some of the doctors can use it for looking at how your scalp looks. And uh, this is quite impressive. That's how thick it looks. Your, you know, this hair on your skin. Very impressive. So I wanted to try something different. So I put some soap bubbles on this small little plastic container. And I just wanted to see if it can do something uh, extraordinary. But uh, yeah, the clarity wasn't there, but you could actually see these bubbles moving. And uh, it's quite a phenomenon when you watch it through this microscope. Nothing great, but uh, check out those bubbles and kind of gives you a closer look as to what's happening. I'm going to put the images after this, just showing you how uh, well this captures those uh, moments of these bubbles. So images not really great, like I mentioned. Yeah, so these two megapixel photos are definitely lacking some sort of clarity on them. But yeah, if you see it on the screen itself, it's quite good. So that's the soap bubble experiment. You can try different things. So here was an old toothbrush and again, Clarity on the image wasn't really impressive. But if you see the screen directly, you can see that it does a good job of showing you what's actually there, but it doesn't capture it really well. So coin lovers. So this is where I think uh, there is some sort of advantage using this because it's, uh, it's so portable. You can actually take this with you wherever you're going. So if you're into jewelry or you know looking at coins, you can actually see some good detail on this device. And the thing that it's rechargeable and really small to carry on with a pouch makes a big deal. So here's one of the coins where I could see a lot of detail. Here's another coin. And you actually see the perforations on this coin very, very clearly. Yeah, the image quality was okay. I think for coins, it works pretty okay. And this was one of the oldest coins I had. I don't know whether it's even genuine, but this is a very old coin. It's supposed to be some few centuries ago. And uh, this is pretty badly battered. You can see a lot of rust and mix of copper and a lot of other things on this. And that's quite a good detail on the screen and when you see it uh, on the image it's just about okay so yeah you can use this for watching coins and you know reviewing them so not a bad device now let's look at a currency note so this one's the 
note from Dubai. So this one's uh, 10 dirham. So let's see. This is one of the newer notes. And it's got a lot of coloring and a lot of security options. And straight away you can see the amount of detail this Microsoft throws on that screen is impressive. There's so many new things on this note. And when you look at it through this microscope, you kind of understand the amount of work that's gone into making this currency the way it is. Really cool stuff. And check out the amount of detail that it throws up. Yep, so maybe not three microns, but something like a currency note and coins do really well on this particular microscope. So I'm really impressed on the clarity it's actually throwing. Yeah, that's some good quality detail there. Yeah, so that's how the currency note looks. A lot of small little details which you'll miss watching at the note directly. You can see it here. Another area where this microscope really rules is fabrics. So when you look at fabrics, any kind of fabric, including clothes which you wear, the kind of detail it throws up is really nice. I did notice that it kind of is able to distinguish those threads very easily. Anything which has colors, I think this does really well. So this is a hand glove and I just wanted to check how good it is. And you can see the amount of detail here is much better than what we saw for the other devices in the beginning, like your knife edges and stuff like that. Here's the image from the glove. You can see the thread stitchings so clearly visible. Let's see how the reflective coating looks and it says head on this one. So that's the, you know, a reflective sticker on this particular material and very nicely it kind of shows you how clear it is. So here's an old mop which is uh, out here for drying. Let's look at the image quality on this one and as you can see this video I shot, pretty impressive. And this was uh, a piece of uh, cardboard bag which I wanted to zoom into and this is what I saw. Again 1080p this was recorded in. You can see all the amount of gum they've used and the old uh, fiber. And then we come to plants. So here again uh, this microscope can give you some good image quality. Again it depends on what you're actually trying to look at. Just the leaves alone may not be uh, anything great. But then uh, let's see if you can do something better with this one. I saw this big giant leaf and you know there's nothing much on one side of it. So yeah you can see some of the uh, parts of the leaf there. But what was impressive was when I kind of turn this leaf. I'll show you what happens in a minute. But here's how a normal leaf looks like from the surface. Yeah this was something I saw at the back of the leaf. And yeah, I, I was wondering what are these white things moving around there. And so I kind of put the microscope in there and I could see different things here. Some shiny little balls and then I could see some small creatures walking around. And look at the amount of detail you get. I really don't know what that worm is, but uh, they seem to be having a good time behind the leaf. And there, there was a big insect next to it. And these are really small. You really can't see them when you just look at the leaf. But yeah, there's a lot of things going on behind uh, these leaves. So uh, the 1080p or 1080p videos were quite okay. And then I found some of these flowers. So I just wanted to see what I can do. This, this is very difficult to do handheld, but yeah. Sorry about the shake, but you can actually see pollen there for this little small flower. And I also tried looking at sand. And this is what I could see. Maybe if you have some good quality sand, you can actually see the particles very nicely. This is just, you know, plant soil. But you, you still can get a lot of detail out of it. Overall, I think this is a very good impressive device. It's tiny little size. And, you know, the use usability wise, it's very convenient to carry around, makes for a good little toy or, you know, something for those coin lovers. I'll leave links in the description below. 
uh, in case you like the video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching our tech i shall see you in the next one bye